vehicles coming down to the bottom of the track there just behind them at the bottom of the arena where one of our tanks is giving some of our guests a ride around the arena you can see our tank graveyard will be waging war on those vehicles at 3 p.m this afternoon so make sure you're around for that you will feel the heat from the explosions even from down there that's how large they are ladies and gents are coming up for you at three o'clock this afternoon but now we start with our wheeled vehicle display and we do have some obstacles for our drivers to demonstrate their vehicles <laughs> This is an interesting one for you here, seeing this at shows a few years ago, it's been a while since I've seen it, the Rugged Robin, a three-wheeler, or should that be a one-wheeler with tracks? Oh, 
Come here, come here. You know, you've got passengers on board. Yes. You did have passengers on board. They're all screaming in the air. No, well, I think the boys have lost a few. What have you brought in here with you? Well, what have you brought in here? It's your table pack. I'm a big blue guy, I'm a big blue boy, and it's brown. It also flows. It's a little thing that pays up. Let me pose behind you as well. That's just an ordinary palace driver when I use bars. Stop having your children and that sort of thing on it. Well, whatever you have on it when you can be, it's not on there now. <laughs> you have good fun out there. Hold on, guys. Now we have a go at this guy. He's on the inside. He's on and then I've got to uh, talk to the yellow peril. It is on. Hello, you. How are you doing? All right, mate. How are you? No, I'm very well. Now, you come from quite a distance, haven't you? Where you come from? We come from the Isle of Wight. All the way from the Isle of Wight for our show. You enjoyed it that much last year, you've come back. That's it, we have. Now, remind us what you brought in with us. It's a Series 3 uh, lightweight or air portable uh, Land Rover. It's got six passengers on board. Uh, it's got six passengers on board. And this one, it, it's glorious yellow colours. It wasn't this colour when you got it though, was it? No, it wasn't. It was a drab old green, you know. I don't know why they painted the green, but... <laughs> now, you repaint... Well, I think you repainted it. You got your sons to repaint it, didn't you? That's correct, yes. Uh, this time last year, I remember both your sons were sat in the back of this, literally sweat pouring off them, mixed with tears rolling down their face. Because you found out about the show a week before, you were already on holiday in the UK, and you rang up your sons and said, get that Land Rover on the road and bring it to the show. That's correct, yeah. Really, we've done the same this time, but we've, we've had a few more shows, we've got one more to go. We're taking it yet. As a bit of a, a grand tour. Yes, a great, a new team of uh, military shows. Fantastic. Well, wonderful to see. It's expensive to like up in Scotland, this, isn't it, on an airboat? And then you, uh, you came into, into ownership and took it back to its original colour. That's correct. And um, if, if this is your eyes only, uh, I've actually got the kill, which is odd, from the two Ross where it came from. That is quite a bright hill, our own flight. Thank you very much for being here, so wonderful to see that here with us again. And if you want to see more of that vehicle, there's a full video of that on YouTube, full of pictures of that vehicle, wonderful to see it in the arena here with us today. I'm going from lightweight to heavyweight. Hello you, how are you doing? Very well, mate. How are you? I'm very well. I'm very well. How's this handling? Uh, it's a bit of a peak, but uh, it's good for a bit of good. Uh, and that's what you brought in. It's an RB44. Uh, not sure what it does, but uh, I'm just a driver. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you enjoying it, though? That's amazing. It certainly am. Everyone else is as well. Oh, absolutely. Now, have you taken it over any of the obstacles yet? Uh, we did earlier in the week. It's a little bit hairy, but we've got to get home today, so hopefully we won't break anything. Okay, well, if you fancy taking it over, one, take it easy. Go on, give it a go for it. Certainly will. Thank you very much. Wonderful to see that. We've got 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 to And what the Land Rover here is turning out of into a bit of a run stage by the look of it. What's all the same? Yeah, it's a Oh, that's technology when it first came out. It was very small 
Soviet Army uh, when it was in active service. Uh, this particular one with the yellow holes in the back is actually meant for chemical reconnaissance, so to go in after a chemical strike and find a safe path to place. And this one has been in the chemical war zone, hasn't it? Uh, not that I'm aware of, but finding history is hard. Okay, well I found one that has, and it's just got a guy in the that would kill people away, so I can get too close to it. Well, it's not this one, I've done stood on it then. Uh, but it's probably amphibious, it's probably sealed, isn't it? Which one is it? That's it. Yeah, so it's hermetically sealed, but the manual still stipulates that the crew should still wear full half suit while driving it. Wow, okay, I'm glad you're not wearing well. I thought of wish you were, actually, the colours that are going on in front of me. In fact, I might need my jump uh, But it's fully amphibious, and once you're inside, you can deploy it up on the outside. Please inflate the pilot from inside. Yeah, that's correct, so the pilot starts the aircraft press on the back will reinflate the pilot from the back. Yeah, you've got an additional set of wheels that you can actually drop forward, so it doesn't have a look at that, or they not work? I've had to disable them at the moment. Yeah, and just keep picking different kind of vehicles. Okay, well, we've only got them down, but underneath the body there are four additional wheels, so you've actually got eight wheel drive. No, I'll just go walk Correct, so if you need to do the pushing to an eight wheel drive, which helps on trenches and things like that, but that's pretty quite haven't got the trench in the middle with them yet. Fantastic. Well, lovely to see this. I'm a big fan of gas. There's a review of a gas on my channel as well. I haven't had a chance to have a go in this yet. Yes. Yes. I will have a go in it though. Now then, we're going to move the gas back and reveal the green goddess. Hello, sir. Come on up. Come on up. Let's have a chat with you. Now then, how am I going to do this? I'll tell you I'm going to do this. Right now, right now, right now. Yeah. Now, how are you doing? Thank you, thank you. Good morning. Oh, it's wonderful to see this in the arena. It's the first time I've seen it in the arena this weekend. Yeah, yeah, I know. We've had the, uh, the day in the ferry in here the other day, but we thought we'd see the goddess uh, spin around this morning. Absolutely. Now, tell us about the green goddess, because you don't see many of them now, do you? No, there's not so many around now. They um, disposed of the last one sort of during the 90s, but they um, they were built most of them around the early 50s. This one was 1953. Um, most of the time they served with the military and with the Royal Air Force. Um, they were kept as home office vehicles right up until the late 90s when they were used for fire strikes. Um, this one was up in Lamington in 1991, last time it still service, and it's still in its original working place. So. Fantastic. Yeah, it's just gorgeous. I love a goddess, and this one's fantastic turnout. I'm not, the best thing about the goddess is the pad, because it's huge. Yeah. yeah, it's like a little house on wheels, even. It's a real communal vehicle. So. Brilliant. I love it. Thank you so much for bringing it in. We'd love to see a goddess in the arena with us. Demonstration. 
coming up for you at 11.30 this morning. Then a big day, we have our mid-day front. So you can see we're over on the left-hand side, where we've already been lined up. Well, we're going to be making it way over, racing on up for us, just have a very quick look at those things before we head to eight. One of my all-time favourite cars, bar not the Austin Champ. How are you doing? Hi, thank you. Now then, you know that I love a Champ. We did a video on this Champ a couple of years ago, and it's gone down like an absolute house on fire. Absolutely fantastic video it was, and a fantastic vehicle, because up front, a Rolls-Royce series engine. Underneath, we've got fully coilover suspension, independent suspension, designed by Mr. Alex Izigonis. The man who did the original Mini, which is famous for its handling. They're brilliant vehicles, these, aren't they? Yeah, very capable vehicle, as you well know. I do indeed, I do indeed. Now, we've come up with a little plan here to try and demonstrate something. It's a bit dusty out there, but luckily the arena is fairly clear. Um, so we're going to do this demonstration, but for that, I need you to get into the passenger seat. So I'm going to hand you this. I'm going to jump into the right seat. Absolutely love these. Wonderfully smooth, smooth vehicles. And you've got front and reverse gears, but they're mounted on the rear axle. So you can go as fast forward as you can backwards. If you want to, yeah. So we'll do a little demonstration. This is a, an interesting thing to do. Shouldn't be doing it in one handed, but needs must, as you know. I'll hold the bike because I want to demonstrate just how smooth this vehicle is. As you can see, driving around suspension, working well, hardly making any kind of rust at all. Beautiful smooth. If I could have a team driving around in this, couldn't you? Yeah, this yeah. Is wonderful. Now, what I need to do is head around and get behind the start and then turn the vehicle around. So, bear with us.
Ja. Ladies and gentlemen, just look at the axle articulation across all three axles on that Scammell there. Incredibly capable vehicles these, they can easily sit on an A-frame about six foot tall and still have all six wheels on the ground. Now ladies and gentlemen, just have a watch of this as it goes through our axle demonstration area. We have two rather large dips set off, set from one another. As you can see the axles working their way up and down. The two scammels are making light work of our obstacle course. As the two Foddens recover one another here, it's not unusual to see the front vehicle pop a wheelie as it puts all of the power down and has that huge amount of weight in the background. Now if you look down the bottom of the arena, you can see the drop system in action there. As you can see, the driver not having to get out of the car. How close that pallet gets to the rear of the vehicle, clearing it by just a couple of centimetres, but that's all it needs to do. Now the hook that holds all of that in place is a bit like a claw from a bird of prey, arching around almost 270 degrees, you might just be able to see it there. And as soon as the pallet is dropped, our driver can move away. The idea with this is basically to be able to take supplies up to the front line, drop them and get out of there as quickly as possible without the driver having to get out of the cab. Now, the winch there taking all of the slack out of the cable and now winching our second scowl across our mounts there. Now, if you want to pass here, ladies and gents, we actually use the winch and the power of a scabble with a land anchor to pull a land rover in half. That's right, you heard me right, we literally pull the land rover in half, ladies and gents. So if you weren't here for that, don't worry, you can see all of the action in the 2020 show film, which is on YouTube right now. Just a look at the articulation, ladies and gents, on the Explorer's six wheels there, six wheel drive. Not much that an Explorer can't recover. Easily pulling the second explorer 
Of course, both of these will be used as recovery vehicles. Absolutely, it's extremely well turned out these vehicles. We don't want to have an infinite number of these ones up when they are at their static supply areas in our main showground later in the year. We've had these on six or eight frames before now with all of the wheels touching the ground. Six of them arrive that much that they can't recover later in the year. So I think the only things these cannot recover usually all the rest of the water. There you are, there's our second Victoria, nice one in the comment there. That's quite an obstacle indeed. Oh, there she goes up in the air, ladies and gents. Ladies and gents, put your hands together for me for that. That was fantastic driving. While well, that was in the foreground, uh, the system picking up the pallet without the driver having to get out of the cab at all shows you just how quickly that vehicle can drop and lift a pallet and back up in the air again very well done indeed sir to the drop system we're going to see some of this vehicle's capabilities taking on one of our obstacles front wheel just lifting into the ground into the air there but the uh, two keeping safely on the ground Brilliant demonstration, absolutely superb, loving that ladies and gents, fantastic demonstration by our drivers there. Gentlemen, please do make your way down to the main arena as we've got a special edition for you. This is a World War II reenactment for you. As you can see in the trenches there, we have got the Axis forces. And our Sherman's actually in there, but it does look like he's running into a bit of trouble here, the Sherman. Broken down in the exact wrong place there, and now coming under fire from the Axis forces. Fire being exchanged between the Sherman and the troops on the ground. We're calling for backup from the Allies, which will be coming down from the right hand side of the arena. You can see we have a World War II American coming in to the arena now to give back up to uh, the Sherman and the troops inside. The three uh, German Axis forces in the trenches uh, dug out. Guys, just keep your radio clear, we've got it on the go. Just let the truck come in and do it. Fire being exchanged between the Axis and the Allies. Oh, okay, the backup forces from the Americas. Taking cover behind the two vehicles. 
struggling to hold their heels. Shots now being exchanged between both vehicles and the three Axis forces in the trenches there. Everything you can see here is a period of World War II, including the Sherman track vehicle. A smoke grenade there to give a little bit of cover to try and blind uh, forces there. No more grenades being thrown between the two. Fire being exchanged between the two. Yes, yes, yes. Go, go, go. So coming up for you at 1 o'clock ladies and gentlemen we will be starting up a V12 Rolls Royce engine as found in the front of a Spitfire that's over in the exhibitors field but definitely in the main arena right now we have a World War II reenactment going on with the German tank that's come up to break down in the exact wrong place. Three German forces, the Axis in the dugout there, fire being exchanged between the Axis and the Allies, an Allied force coming down in the shape of the Americans there behind their vehicle. Fire being exchanged between both sides. And the Axis forces there trying to run to retreat and looks like he may have just made it into the second dugout there. One going to move, unfortunately being taken out by one of the Allied forces, they're down to just two men now. Trying to move into position into a better advantageous position really coming under force now from the Allied forces we've lost a man on the Allies next to the Sherman but still plenty there using the barrel at the front of the Sherman for some cover really coming on to the aggressive now the Allied forces moving forward advancing forward in position the Axis under a lot of pressure here in their dugout, another Allied force there being taken out to come forward a little bit too far or is he just going for another weapon? Change it over to a pistol weapon here, as you saw pistols being used in our demonstration earlier today. The Allied force at the rear giving cover for his man up the front there uh, the two Axis forces surely must be running out of ammunition if not wanting to move on to the retreat Allies advancing right forward now pretty much towards the other side of that trench he went for a run but unfortunately it was too late which means they now to just one man the Allies moving forward here And a final pistol shot. And it looks like the Allies have taken over the Axis. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for our reenactors. Right, good afternoon, ladies and gents. Sorry for the slight delay in our midday ones, but having the helicopter arrive, I think you will agree is worthy of a delay. Now we're going to have our midday guns. We're starting with five handheld weapons and moving up to four track and trailer mounted weapons. Now then, Andrew, our gunsmith, also our pilot, how was the flight this morning? Yeah, it's pretty good. Any, any flight that you land like that, that was a good flight. It was a lovely landing, beautiful coming in. Now then,
then. You can see here, hold that up for me, Andrew, nice and high, nice and high. You might need your binoculars to see that, ladies and gentlemen, one of your fancy zoom lenses. But that there is a tiny little 9mm shell that's going to be fitted inside a handgun. So pop it into your magazine there, Andrew, and pop it into your clip. And let's have our first gun, ladies and gents. And now we're going to go to the other side. We're going to go from the right millimetre to our three out of three. We're going to go from a handgun to a sniper rifle. Right then, hold up our next row. This is our 303 shell here, being mounted inside of our rifle. So, when you are ready, sir, and for this one, I'm going to place this down and run away. that you saw earlier in our demonstration. As you see, it's got two feet to rest on the front of the Land Rover. Thumbs up to Andrew. Here we go. Very popular, we are using black, but we still use the sights on there. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very for the 762 Trojan. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, 16mm, 16mm. So, just making sure everyone at the bottom of the field is clear, because uh, you can't remember which of the lines and which of the blanks. So hopefully we've made this the blank range here this time. Thank Take it away from you, sir. Just look at the size of this weapon, ladies and gents. So big it comes in two cases, has to be screwed together. Hey! 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 
second pirouette for us now if you look at the ground you'll see how the vehicle isn't really digging in it's just sort of skating across the top of the surface there not digging in at all if you were to do that with one of the heavier track vehicles like Cheetah Challenger it would turf up all of that ground but this just skates over the top of it Yes. 
Nick is going to flatten our men this. Also joined in the arena as well now with our Sherman. Yeah, 
we do need or both know that objectives from right on the inside of the hotel is under and there is a road to run and the road is full of smoke in here than it's outside. How is it this bad, Georgia? Where did you take it? I used to live in it. You used to live in it? Well, I must have done. <laughs> Just you or what herd of animals joined you? <laughs> As you can see, we've both been given PPE. Uh, you were given a fireman's jacket and helmet. I was given glasses. Just glasses. So what's going to happen now is the fire brigade are going to come rescue us. Okay. Okay? Yep. Here we go then, ladies and gents. The fire brigade are now coming to rescue us, George. So what's going to happen now is they are going to rescue us from this car. Yep. Okay. Okay? Yep. How? How? Well, you're about to find out, George. <laughs> so the setup here is, uh, Georgia, you are walking wounded. Okay? Yep. I and uh, paralysis, unfortunately. I suffered a, a neck, uh, neck and back injury. So when there is paralysis or any kind of injury to neck and back, there's only one thing that can happen. Do you know what that is? Not a clue. It involves turning this car into a convertible. I've always wanted that. Okay, well it's about to become a convertible. Hello there. Hello, how are you? I've been better, I'll be honest. How are you feeling? Any pain anywhere? I've got pain in my neck and back. Okay. Anything else? Can't feel my feet. Don't worry, we're going to cut them off in a minute, so don't worry. <laughs> You're going to put a collar on me, hang on, I'm not a dog. No, no, I don't want a collar. Or a vicar for that matter. I notice that you haven't got a collar yet. What's your name look like? Georgia. Georgia. Georgia, have you got any pain anywhere? Uh, my legs hurt a little bit, but I, I think I'm fine. Go ahead, nice and still for me, Tim. So these guys are treating this as a real situation, ladies and gents. There's a bit of training and practice for these guys. Now, I'll tell you well, something like this, while you're here. Yeah. Um, if you ever see a car accident or anything like this, then you're going to be a good Samaritan. Yeah. People have got out of the car, it's a cold, it wet, windy day, for whatever reason. It pops over your head, buddy, all right. Imagine it's a cold, and wet, windy evening or something like that. You've seen a car accident, as many car accidents do happen in the winter. And uh, you've been a good Samaritan, and you offer somebody who's been in that vehicle a seat Hello. in your nice I don't nice know, feel like the back of your neck now, alright. No. Any pain anywhere I'm poking? Any neck or Nothing. Pain Just turn that your head left point. to right for me. There is only one way Any pain when you're moving your head? No. Of Lift your head up and down for me, any pain? No, no excited about this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's your car, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. And what reasons <laughs> Take a deep breath in and out for me. You get a rush of adrenaline. And this hides your pain. Anything? Take hold of my hands for me. Have a good squeeze. That natural response. Side by both legs. Pull your pelvis down here. Have a quick look. Your chest, uh, sorry. 
So when you go to the Anything hurt now after that? Right. So Tim, Tim very poorly, so we're going to look after Tim. Yeah. We're going to get you out as, as a controlled way as we can. Yeah. We're not going to be putting a collar and boarding and all that jazz, right? Yeah. Tim, on the other hand, we're going to cut all his clothes off. We're going to stick some very large needles in him. We really are going to take the pets. Yeah. All right, yeah. doing that. Love it's to cut the roof off the car. Now, this happened last year. The lady had been a very good Samaritan, pulled over in a brand new £80 Jaguar. And she very kindly let this person sit in the back of the vehicle with the heat is off so they can start calming down. Indeed, they did calm down, the adrenaline wore off. And unfortunately, there was a neck of back pain. So the fire brigade cut the room off of this brand new Jaguar. It's literally two weeks old. And the worst thing about it all, her insurance didn't cover her because her vehicle has not been involved in an accident. Just bear that in mind, ladies and gents. He's actually getting a needle out here. That's enough. Put that needle away. I don't actually need that. Stop it. Right, be ready. Yeah? So, There's going to be some noise. So don't worry. I am worried it because they're hitting the glass right in front of them. They've covered Georgia over, but they haven't covered me over. I hope you know. Georgia, you're all nicely covered over here. She's got, a, she's got a blanket and everything. Going to bed. She's, you're going to read her up bedtime story. It's a bit like, a bit like a, uh, a bread knife, this. You look at that now. You've ruined my shot. So it's like a bread knife cutting through the glass, it's literally cut through the glass. I've got another band on my arm. No, no, I think that's a bit ruined, yes. Have, have you seen what's going on down here? They've got the jaws of life ladies and gents. What they're gonna do here is pop the bolts out of the hinges. So what they do is they put the jaws in between the gap between the car and the door. They spread the door to the point that the metal literally impacts. Now you can see this, it's literally cutting into the metal. The metal is being bent out of shape. Bring it in! Bring it cutting in! Cutting away. And Spread in! Spread in now! Detonation! Yeah, going for a cut. Bit more. Going for a cut. Yeah. The A pillar, one of the strongest parts of the car, is a, I would say probably two mil thick piece of plastic. Yeah, that's as well. I mean, it literally split in half. Now those jaws of life are less than six inches from the side of your head as they go through the B pillar, Georgia. One fully I love how they've given all Georgia all of this PPE, and I'm sat here in a polo. I won't forget this, gents. Me, I finished me, you yet, <laughs> finished with me yet. <laughs> now, Darren is overseeing all of this. I'm going to hand Darren the mic for a, a couple of minutes, let him have a quick chat, because I know you do love to have a little chat, don't you, Darren? Okay. Love you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you look like having the time of your life there, Georgia. Oh, so you're going to go home tonight and be like, guess what I did today? <laughs> well, normally what we do, we take them out. To start with, yeah. we pop what we call a pelvic bind around you, and yeah. hold your pelvis back together. Right. And then we take it off the front of the lad. Number 43, you've done this. 
<laughs> More than me. Do I have an actual paramedic that works for each other's evidence service? I haven't cut anyone out of car in about a year. Do we not? We just don't do this anymore. We turn off, you've never really got neck pain, we just get you to turn around, stand up and get out. Well, I'm going to come around. What the, the hell is this? Have you seen this? Behind your head, mate, all right. <laughs> hey, 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 where's he got? Come look at this. Yeah. What? This? Bloody daft punk over here. That's what I want. I want what you're on about going on in here. Okay, so make sure you take out all the bits that I've sworn at you. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, we're just going to be making a final cut now by your head here on this side. Now it's cut the roof off the car. There. By my Paramedics pack. guidance. Okay, is everyone, is anyone not ready? Me. Okay, <laughs> we'll go on the command of move. So if you're ready, brace and move. Okay, yeah. ready, brace, move. Right, okay. I'm in. ready, brace, brace, move. We weren't able to assess Which is arm on the thing. Yep. Try and go over the top if you can, because no, over the top because you're going to get stuck. That's the one, mate. That's it. Ready, yeah. steady, move. One more. Ready, brace, move. That's it. Set it. Blocks. Watch your foot, Sean, Sean. Are you going down here? Yeah. Down here, standing up right. Go up right. Okay. Turn around to the crowd. Heel down. Heel first. Down. Head up. Oh. Way. Way. <laughs> Stand back to me, guys. Let me see you. Hey, don't let me down. Hey, Heel over. Stop on that board. You can't move, can you, Tim? No. Shake your head for me, please, Tim. Huh? What? No, I can't. We'll show you now how real good these, these pine boards are. So hey, if you want to grab head toes and uh, middle, guys. Oh, yeah. What are you doing? Ready, head to the middle, guys. Lower down. Hey. Lower down. I've got my foot in. Three feet. Ready? Hey. Go. Ah. Ah. Hey. 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 back. Hey. 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 43 cars this man has been potato of in my career. I've never known a man have so many car crashes. He has sometimes three over a weekend, is that right? Something.
what an enormous hit that was, ladies and gentlemen. We are off, so we've got an alloy water that comes into the dead at the very bottom left-hand side of the arena. Now, you may recognise this vehicle. This has been driven by Brian, and this is Sergeant Dave Hill. Now, we're going to have a look at the other side of the arena. Now, this is the Sergeant Dave Hill. Now, what we can see from here is the
guys, I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have underneath it, you'll find a thumbs up button. Hit that right next to it, that's a subscribe button as well. Hit that, you'll get a new video from me every week, including the highlights video from 2022 Tank Trucks and Firepower. You'll also get some extra content from me from this show as well. I hope to see you again very soon. Have a fantastic year.
Bigger and better every single year.